I don't think so. It will augment the care we provide. It will help us as radiologists to provide a good service to the patients. I don't think it will replace and push us out. Of the I would say augmented intelligence is clinical knowledge and medical data converge together. AI, where it tends to replace human intelligence, augmented intelligence works with yes. human intelligence and amplifies what you want to do. The next step is precision diagnostics. So radiology is trying their way that how in the, in the era of precision diagnostics, precision medicine, personalized care, how can they play an active role? And some of the use cases that we have identified in regards to breast imaging, chest x-rays, and even more beyond that, it's about bringing pixel intelligence and correlating that pixel intelligence with meaningful clinical data so that you are empowering radiologists and they become those consultative powerhouses in the organization they're referring physicians and consultants to go to. And ultimately, it's patient-centered care. That's what we're all aiming for, yeah. The way I see AI is both EI and AI will be seamlessly integrated on a common platform. That's how I see AI. I think Anjum can uh, chip in here. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think uh, something to learn from Princess Alexandra's experiences, how they have brought this vision that they had on image consolidation and had a strategy behind how do you leverage all these imaging data sets and drive meaningful intelligence out of it. It's not just about integrating AI algorithm, but it's more like seamlessly embedding intelligence into their routine clinical practice. Mammography itself, I think that's one year where definitely where it will come into place. The other big area is uh, chest screening, I think. That's the next step, which we are thinking of. I mean, we'll see how this mammography project grows. I'm very positive. But once that is in place, I would just go to the next step, which is the chest screening, uh, where AI will have a big role to play. There's, it's quite an exciting times for, for uh, AI. I would call it augmented intelligence, actually. Augmented intelligence, not artificial intelligence. That's the term it should be called as. So I think AI, EI, I think that's the future.